Get the rotation timing right with your pull and get more out of each stroke. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free eight week technical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the video description below. It's not just what you do, it's when you do it. In this series, we're discussing timing and the key to great timing, rotation. Great timing comes from rotating in the right amount at the right time. In this series, I'll show you how to do it. During the arm pull, you wanna be rotated during the beginning position of the pull, rotated forward towards the arm. This helps you more effectively set up the arm pull all within the constraints of the mobility of the shoulder. You'll start the pull without rotating too much in the opposite direction. And then once the pull gets going, you'll start to aggressively rotate back to the other side. So about midway through the pull, you'll start to rotate backwards. Doing so allows for more hand speed, more force, more propulsion, and ultimately more speed moving forward through the water. Then you'll finish the pull almost on the opposite side of the body, ready to recover the arm and pull with the opposite arm. So effective rotation at the right time allows you to both set up the stroke correctly and pull back more aggressively. Check out the key takeaways for a summary of these concepts. To make sure you're notified when future videos are released, click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon next to it. It helps me spread the word about more effective swimming, which means more videos for you.